Hi. I basically had this idea that I wanted to film a Brandy Melville try on haul. I wear a size medium. I wear a size UK 10 slash 12 on the bottom and a size UK 10 on the top. Now famously, Brandy Melville has this one size fits all approach, which almost feels like fake inclusivity because one size does not fit all and one size will never fit all. Like tell me how a waist 25 jean is gonna fit all. A lot of girls that I follow on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube because I like their style and I like the way that they dress. They seem to wear a lot of Brandy Melville. My top is from Brandy and then my skirt is also from Brandy and then a Brandy Melville long sleeve. This is the Brandy shirt I slept in. I'm wearing this little Brandy tank top. This tank I layered over it. It's from Brandy. Brandy Melville t-shirt. I'm wearing all Brandy and Honestly, I love Brandy. I wear it all the time. And I would say pretty much all of those girls look like they are an extra small small anyway. But people always seem to rave about the quality of Brandy Melville online. And I feel like I'm just really lacking in some just good quality basics in my wardrobe. And I really feel like that is just crucial to make getting dressed every day a lot more easier. I was also with my friend the other day and she was wearing these little fold over yoga pants. And they looked so good on her. And I could just tell by looking at them from the quality that it was Brandy Melville. She is definitely a size UK 6 slash 8 and they looked amazing on her. So I asked if I could try them on and of course they look like a completely different trouser on me. But I still feel like they look kind of cute. So I went on to the Brandy Melville website and I just had a little flick through of stuff that I thought might fit me. A lot of their offering is stretchy but I wasn't like foolish enough to try and put any denim in my basket. So I thought I would just try it on my order with you guys and hopefully I have some luck. Also, if you've been following me for a while or watching my stuff, you might think that this is slightly off brand for me because I mostly try and shop secondhand or from small brands. Sometimes you just need a good quality basic. So cuff me. I'm going to get the order one sec. So the order came in two separate parcels and I opened one without realizing what it was. But the second half is still very much in its packaging and I haven't even seen it with my own eyes yet. So let's just get stuck in. Okay, so I'm just starting with the Priscilla Pant and the Armour Tank, both of which are made from 100% cotton and they both have a decent amount of stretch to them. These were the pants that inspired this whole haul, basically. I just, I don't know what it is. I just love them. When I first looked at them on the website, they came in two really similar colorways and I couldn't really tell which one was which in the pictures. There was super light gray and silver gray. These are the super light gray and I kind of want to order them in a silver gray just to see them side by side and compare and see which one I prefer, but I feel like I'm definitely going to keep these. They're also now available in black and navy, so I ordered the navy, so I will try them on in this haul as well. This little armor tank is cute. It's not like my dream tank. I feel like my dream tank is thick enough where I don't need to wear a bra. It's also like a little bit more cropped than I would normally opt for. I have noticed some of the basics on the Brandy Melville website are not so cropped, whereas I remember like a few years ago, all of their stuff was pretty much all super cropped. But I feel like the length of this tank really works well with the trousers. The trousers are just like, I don't know I don't know why I'm so obsessed with them I just really feel like they're like the perfect travel trouser they're comfy and they're chic and they're just I think quite flattering maybe my boyfriend absolutely loved them like when I put them on he was like wow they're super like gray colorway almost has like a little hint of cream to it so I think that's why I want to see the silver gray just to see what it looks like with a slightly cooler tone I mean I feel like I'm going to keep the tank just because I really do not own any white tanks at the moment and I'm going away next week and I feel like this will be great to just chuck on I don't know what's happened to mine I feel like the ones that I owned used to be too cropped for me so I got rid of them and then just haven't found like a decent replacement but I even feel like the ones that I used to own were Aren't that great in the first place this one has a scoop neckline and lace little trim and she's cute so i'm gonna keep her the pants are 20 pounds and the tank is 15 let's try on some more stuff okay next i put on this sweater it's the brianna sweater in ivory and then the madeline shorts in heather gray the shorts are a size extra small small because that's all they had. I went to go and check out the composition on the website, but the listing isn't there anymore. And I feel like that always happens with Brandy Melville stuff. You'll find something on there and then like a week later, it won't be there anymore. And then like a month later, it might reappear or you might just never see it again. But even though they're not my size, I still really like the way that they fit on me. A lot of my bicycle shorts and legging shorts are all high-waisted and I don't really wear high-waisted stuff anymore. So I wanted something low rise. And I think these are cute. They also look cute with the sweater. I love the combination of butter yellow and gray together. I just think it looks really 
nice and summery. I know we're coming to the end of summer, but I actually really did not own any springy, summery knits. All of my knitwear feels very heavy autumn winter. I'm also just so drawn to anything butter yellow. I think the fit of this is really nice. It's got the ribbed hem and the drop shoulder detail, and it's just like a little boxy crew neck fit. It's 60% cotton and 40% acrylic, but it's a really nice, thick, chunky, heavy knit. But because it's not wool or mohair, I know that I won't overheat in it. The sweater's 30 pounds and the shorts were 12 and I'm gonna keep both. Okay, next up I'm gonna try the pieces that I haven't actually seen yet because they were in the other parcel that I didn't open. Okay, wait, I was mistaken. I actually did order the Priscilla pants in the silver grey. So I ordered them in three colorways. I've got the navy, the silver grey, and then I tried on the super light grey before. So I'll hold them up so you can see the difference. And then I also ordered this black mohair jumper, which I feel like I'm gonna sweat and die in right now because my flat is really warm. I've had to close the windows whilst I'm filming so you can't hear the street noise. And then I also got this grey tank that I really hope that they release in white because I really like the look of it online, but let's try it on. Okay, so next I've got on the Kathleen basic tank in light heather grey and the Priscilla pants in navy blue. I really like this vest. I hope they release it in white. It's got a lovely boat neckline. It's very fitted and it is 96% cotton and 4% spandex. So it feels a bit more fitted and suctiony than the other vest that I had on. It's also a good length. Like it's really not too cropped. And I like the pants in the navy. I do prefer the grey, but I feel like navy would also just be handy to have. And I quite like these two together as an outfit, actually. I'll show you the shorts just for colour comparison. So these are heather grey and the top is heather light grey. And you can see the difference in the tone of the grey. Okay, this is the Amelie mohair sweater in black and it costs £32, but it's going back to the store not because of the fit, but because of the way that it feels. I know that mohair is more often than not itchy, but I thought I'd give it a go because I really like the look of this sweater. I like the way that it fits and the way that it sits, especially on me. Like I'm quite pleasantly surprised with how it looks on me. But yeah, I'm just like a little bit itchy and I want to get it off. I'm a bit like, do I order these pants in black? I'll leave it for now. I can't have them in every colorway. And then finally, I've got on the Priscilla pants in the silver gray. I've got the super light gray in my hands just so you can see the color difference. Really, this one is just like a little bit more on the creamy side and a little bit warmer, whereas the ones that I'm wearing are more of a cooler gray. I'm really not sure which pair to keep and which pair to send back. I feel like I'm gonna watch this back and decide based on which one I think looks better on me. Although part of me is just like, maybe I should just send back the navy and maybe I should go into the store and try the black on. Why am I obsessed with these trousers? Let me know in the comments which colorway you think suits me the best. I really, really love them. Yeah, they're very cute. And I also accidentally ruined my favorite joggers the other day that are this color. I put them in a dark wash by accident and some color ran and now they're just like a weird color that I don't like at all. So... Maybe I do just keep both. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna sit and mull it over over the weekend and I'll watch this footage back and decide what is gonna be returned to their warehouse and what is staying here with me. I feel like most of it is actually staying. Yeah, so I mean, I guess it's been a successful haul and I feel like I'm gonna keep an eye out on the website for that vest top to come in white because I'm sure that they will. Okay, well, guess I'm a brandy girl now. That is something that I never thought I would say. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this haul. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you haven't already, don't forget to click like and click subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.